The release of Trace 700 version 6.2.6 .6 has a number of changes that allow the user to enter information a little bit more rapidly and without excess work. While the program in general appears the same, there are some primary differences. These are located under Create Plants. If we click Create Plants, the Configuration button looks as it always has. However, if you go to the Cooling Equipment tab, you'll notice that things look quite different. Here, we'll see in the upper left, there are additional fields. These fields used to be located under the Controls button. However, because they are quite common, they are now located on the front page here. For instance, the energy source, not applied here, was always under the controls button, but is now located directly in the cooling equipment tab. More importantly, you'll see this new button called Packaged Energy Breakout. This button will not be available for the categories of water-cooled chiller and air-cooled chiller. For everything else, such as air-cooled unitary, this button will become active, which we'll see when we click the Apply button, and change the units to Packaged COP or Packaged EER. In this case, we'll give it a Packaged EER of 10 and apply that. Now the Packaged Energy Breakout button is available. Upon clicking it, it will ask us which fan energy should be included in the packaged equipment full load rate. For instance, this value of 10 EER includes what fans? In general, it's the primary fan and the condenser fan, but it also might be a return fan, an exhaust fan, and an optional ventilation fan. So, all you'll need to know now is what fans were included in that energy rate, rather than, well, pulling out some hair and figuring it out yourself by doing the previous method of breaking everything into kW per ton and subtracting out these individual variables yourself. So now you can put the nominal packaged EER or packaged COP on your air-cooled unitaries, water-cooled unitaries, or water source heat pumps in trace. So the final option is apply same fans for heat recovery energy breakout calculation. So if this were a heat pump, basically we're saying that the same exact fans apply to the heat recovery. So those are the key differences in the cooling equipment tab. Please note that no fields have changed besides the energy rate now has packaged DER and package COP, and there's an additional button here, while some of the fields have moved to the front page of the tab. The Heating Equipment tab has also changed. The primary change here is that the thermal storage type has been moved to the top of the screen, and the controls has moved slightly as well. The remaining changes in Trace version 6.2.6 .6 are illustrated when we calculate a file. So, if we have a lead file, for instance, in this case we have our proposed and our baseline, we want to go to the Actions menu, change Energy Parameters. In this case we have Reduced Year, while those familiar with lead know that we should be using Full Year here, we're going to keep it at Reduced Year for the sake of saving time. Here, there's a new checkbox called Close Ventilation Dampers During Unoccupied Hours. This is brand new to version 6.2.6. .6. However, when calculating a lead file, which is what we'll be focused on here, we want to check the box Apply ECB slash PRM Rules to Fan Sizing. Here, we still have the option of 90.1-2004 or 90.1-2007. We'll stick with the 2007 option and click OK. Now we can go to Calculate and View Results. Here, it's important to note that the Scan for Errors button had some new computational skills added to it. So, now it looks for some things that might be wrong with the lead project. Here, we want to select the Performance Rating method as Alternative 2 
since alternative 2 is our baseline, check rotate and average PRM results, and we can click calculate. We're going to fast forward through this. Once the calculation completes, the view results screen will populate as normal. The reports that we're going to be looking at are under the analysis reports, the lead summary, and the PRM fan power report. If we go to preview the first time, it will automatically populate the lead settings with some of the defaults. For instance, we'll have our principal heating source, whether it's fossil fuel or electric, or a hybrid. Our ASHRAE lighting compliance, whether it's the space by space method or the building area method. And the new construction percentage, the climate zone, the quantity of the floors, and so on. We're also defining which is the proposed alternative. If we click OK, because those settings are all correct, now we can preview our reports. And once the reports load, you'll see that we have a lead summary report and a PRM fan power details report. The lead summary report is broken down into sections, starting with general information, which just has the details we entered in the lead settings. The next section is the space summary, where the building occupancy types are broken down according to their room templates in the proposed building. It lists their conditioned area, their unconditioned area, and their total square footage. Section 1.3 will give any advisory messages similar to scanning for errors. So, if you have the wrong number of unmet hours, it's going to let you know that here. We can go to the next page, and here it's going to compare the proposed design versus the baseline design, which is a handy feature. Finally, it gives us in section 1.5 an energy type summary where it simply gives us a utility rate description and the units that it entails. After that, section 1.81 and section 1.82, which break down the energy by components. Finally, it takes a look at the baseline energy costs by rotation and the proposed building improvement over the baseline building is the last thing illustrated. Of course, in this case, we just copied an alternative, so we should not expect much savings. If we look at the PRM fan power details, this gives the fan information system by system in this case there's only one system, so that it lists the design airflow and the corresponding PRM fan power. The rest of these details are simply details needed such as the fan motor efficiency to show that you comply with the other standards. Thank you for visiting energymodels.com.